The biggest names in music getting their groove on, partying overnight at all the glitzy galas. So a lot of these A-listers, some of them maybe a little bit hungover, are now looking ahead to tonight's uh, big show. And ABC's Adrian Bankert is right there in L.A. where she had a busy night. Adrian, what's poppin'? Oh, my goodness. Good to be with y'all. Yeah, I had some friends who were out partying until about 3 a.m., which is when I was coming in, to work and be with y'all from L.A. It's music's biggest night, and the pre-party is epic. The gala, hosted by heavyweight Clive Davis last night, is a tribute to industry pioneers, and it also embraces newer artists who will hit the Grammy stage for the first time. Ahead of the 61st annual Grammy Awards, the stars shine bright for the pre-Grammy gala. Travis Scott gives us a taste of what's to come Sunday night. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. On the red carpet, George Clinton brought his funkadelic sound. One nation under a group. Just hours before he nabs the Lifetime Achievement Award. It is meant to be, it'll be. And first-time nominee Florida Georgia Line competing for best country group performance and bringing the sounds of the generation. Baby, lay on back and relax. Another first-timer, UK artist Ella May, is nominated twice for Booed Up and is showing out in style. We were going for like a very 90s-inspired look, like Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige. I wanted to pay homage to the people that I'm super inspired by. But tonight, the real party starts. Breakout songbird Brandi Carlisle performs and is nominated for a whopping six awards, including Record of the Year. We're just going with it. It's an honor, and we're going to relax and enjoy every second of it in the present. History could be made as Linda Perry may become the first female to win Producer of the Year, and she had a message for young women hoping to get into the industry. They don't just have to be pop stars dancing around on stage. They can be strong female producers. Kendrick Lamar leads the field with eight nominations. I don't even want your congratulations. Including Album of the Year. Drake right behind him with seven, though neither plan to perform. Tell me something, boy. Lady Gaga will do a rendition of Shallow, but without her co-star Bradley Cooper from A Star Is Born. And how could we forget the Carters, gunning for best music video with their iconic shoot in the Louvre. Notably absent, Ariana Grande after the singer got in an online spat with Grammy producer Ken Ehrlich. This reportedly after a dispute over which songs she would be allowed to sing. And we do know who is performing. We talked to Evan Ross, son of the incomparable Diana Ross, who says even he gets goosebumps every time his mom sings. She performs tonight as she celebrates her 75th birthday, but had some really good conversations, including one with Brandi Carlisle about the motivation for her album. And I even got some love advice from Alice Cooper. And his wife. I thought you guys would want to know about that. Alice wow. Cooper. Wow. <laughs> Didn't he have, like, blood coming out of his mouth? What was the advice? Well, it's interesting. I mean, think about how long his career has been. But he's been married to Cheryl for 43 years. Uh -huh. And when I asked him what the secret was to that success, he said, it's about being in love, not just loving a person. And when I asked her what that meant, she says, he still pursues me as if I'm not his. I thought that was very romantic. It's Ahead been, of Valentine's Day. It's been said love is a verb. That's right. He uh, <laughs> apparently is, uh, yeah, putting that into practice. A lot, yeah, <laughs> okay, a lot, all right. mm -hmm. a lot of love. Yeah. Thank you, Adrian. A lot of love on the red carpet tonight. The pursuit <laughs> of loving. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.